All right, bro. I'm going to show you how to do this plane thing real quick. Obviously, open blender. I mean, uh, vert ramps and quarter pipes. <laughs> I'm going to do my setup. Uh, you do yours however you do it. This is just what I do every time. I'll just bring in my skater. Vertex. Always change that to vertex. That's what I meant about the vertice snapping. You, if you do this, it, always when you set up your first thing, you'll never have to worry about it from this point on. Now you'll be straight the rest of the thing. You'll never have to change that. So first thing you're going to do, bring in a plane. Shift A. Then you got mesh plane. Oh, sorry. I don't have my mouse thing going here with the... Yeah. Anyways. So now you have your plane here. Any side of it you want, okay? You're going to go to edit mode, grab your edge, pick an edge, any side, okay? You're going to hit E to extrude and then Z to be on the up and down axis, okay? Now, what I do is I'll just drag it up a little bit, click it to let go of it. Like, still have the edge selected, though. Then I click my... Uh, there my little transform menu up here that little arrow opens it and from here you go to z and you change it now i like doing 1.4 ish because if you look at the skater it's kind of like a mini okay um two i think is like your quarter pipe like your nice quarter pipe but i like doing a little bit mini uh, i leave this long i don't really bring it in too much so now go back in edit mode, click, so we, I put it at 1.4 is what I put it at. So now click this edge, hit control B, and you're on your bevel. Now obviously you want a quarter pipe, so you're going to control your bevel like that. Now here's the, here's the tricky part, right there is how you should bevel something. I don't know if I do it wrong or right. I just, depending on the angle I want, I like to be able to, here, I like to be able to not so much, if you want to launch straight up, you would do, you know, like, like that. And that'll launch you straight up in the air and back down in the quarter pipe. But me, I like to be able to launch and land on coping or launch over or launch up if I jump early and control my own stuff. So the way I do it is control B, bring this all the way, and then scroll to where I want it. Click. Now, the only issue is there's two edges up here now. So I always click the edge and I hit G and Y. And that'll, you know, the Y. And all I do is I drag it backwards a little bit. You know, give it that, like, more straightness. If you see what I mean. And now you see that there's this face here. Just change to face. Click this. And go to delete face. Right click and delete that face. So you should have something like that. Now, once you learn this, man, it takes two seconds to do it. I'm just going slow, you know, to show you. But now you're going to hit this edge and hit E to extrude Z and as you bring it down now you're gonna hold control and put your mouse on the one of the front ends you know because you have that snap to vertices on that's the point of that vertices it makes modeling so much easier then shift click so you have both of these selected hit F for face now alt click one of these edge lines and it'll click your whole edge face alt click F for face. Now I change it to face mode. Click this. Hit E for extrude. And um, it should be Y, shouldn't it? Yeah, the Y axis. Well, which I, you know how to extrude. I'm, I know you're not dumb. You know what to do. But there's that. So there's your basic quarter pipe. Now, if you wanted to do a vert wall with it, I kind of, I should have bring this in more. It looks a little weird, but obviously you can learn how to play with stuff. But once you shade smooth though, it's not really going to matter. You know, it looks good. But now what I do for, if I want to change this to quarter pipe, or I mean uh, to a vert wall, but I still want to keep this platform here because I might have park stuff here or something like that. What I do is I just hit control R 
and bring up my edge loop cut and I click and I'll drag it to like here kind of see what I'm saying kind of like the size of one of these faces and I'll do that and I'll go into face and I'll click it and I'll hit extrude on the Z and I'll bring it up just like that and then I hit like G and Y and kind of, you know, kind of keep it like that. And then I just do the same thing. E for extrude, Z, bring it up, G, Y. And then eventually when you do it enough, you can make yourself straight, you know, and just E extrude, boom, vert wall. You know, depending on how you want to do it. And then even if you, you're like, I like this, but I don't want this anymore, then just, you know, shift click these faces, delete it delete it that's what i like about building man like there's just so much you can do and so many capabilities you know there's your vert wall and then if for some reason you mess up with your scaling or size don't forget you can always hit s on an object and scale it up more man like if you messed it up because you didn't texture it yet so it doesn't matter about textures but once you scale it, like I was saying, now you see your dimensions are all crazy. So what you should do now is control A and all, well, click it and hit control A, all transforms. So now the scaling reset to one, 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 one. So now this object is one, 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 one. So that's the size of it. That's your asset now, you know. If this was going to be an extension onto a bigger park and stuff, you wouldn't have to do the all transforms because you're going to add more to it, you know. But if this is all this wall is going to be, you just make it and you do that and you're done with it, you know. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, let me see if I can get back to. Yeah, I guess I could I could show you on this side. So uh, the other thing is. Say, okay, say, <laughs> I know you're probably like, what the fuck? All right, so say you want to put coping. What I do is I'll shift right click my cursor up here. If you shift right click, it moves your red middle origin where you're going to spawn. So if you do it up here and you click that, then you'll be able to, when you uh, bring in a new object, it'll spawn right where your thing is. But, uh, so I bring in a cylinder. I, uh, shift A and I bring in a cylinder right there. And then I change the dimensions to the X to 0 0.06, the Y to 0 0.06, and that's it. And that's pretty much coping size. And then I'll hit, like, R, and I think it's Y90. Yeah, Y90. It might be X or Y, depending on which way you have your quarter pipe facing. And now here's the best part. I hit G to move it, I hold control, and I just snap it because I have that vertice on. So now that's done. Now you come over here on the side of it and just kind of bring it G, Z, and bring it down. And boom, perfect coping. I don't like that clipping, though, that it shows. So what I do is I always edit it, click this face, I hit G, X, and just bring it out a little bit, like past it. That might have been a little too much. Just like that to avoid that clipping same on this side and then always after you you know you're done with it right click it hit shade smooth and then come over here click the little geometry tab and go to normals and hit auto smooth and boom you got yourself a perfect little quarter pipe man into a vert wall you know what i'm saying i built an asset <laughs> But yeah, like, so ba that's the gist of it, man. If you're having issues, like if for some reason your, your planes aren't, your, so something's not wrong, this is what you could be doing, I think. So a lot of times when you're new, this is one of the problems. I'm not saying like you're a newbie or something, but I mean like this is one of the things. Extruding, when you hit E, when you hit E and you're extruding something, if you right click, you still made, watch, I'm going to hit G, which is to grab. You still made that face. So what can happen is you made that double face now and you think it's there. So then you, or you think you didn't do it. So you hit extrude again and you bring it up. And then when you go to click to do this, 
you're going to get that instead of your quarter pipe. And that could really be what's messing you up. Uh, it's a very common thing. So you would just back it up. And the solution to it is if you do an extrude and you extrude something, if you you have to get used to, if you messed it up, like if you wanted to extrude it like this, but you don't know where to go, you have to send it. You have to click it and send it like it's done and hit control Z and just go back. That's the only way to keep it from making that second face. If you extrude it and you just right click on your mouse, that face is still there. So then you extrude again and then you get that. So that could be one of your issues. But definitely watch your faces. And then, of course, like everything, man, especially with uh, quarter pipes, when you're done building it, go up here. Make sure you're in the same, what is it, uh, solid mode. Click here. Back face culling. Boom, we got some. So that's what, right away, you got to click that. Go into edit mode and click these faces. And hit shift N. Boom. Now check the other side. Yep, yeah, got two. Same thing. Shift N. Boom. Now you're set. Now it's complete. But yeah, sorry this video ended up turning in. Oh, not that bad. 11 and a half minutes. I knew it was going to be pretty short. But yeah, that's the gist of uh, building this. I actually might. No, I'm going to build a whole rail for the other tutorial. But I'm going to build another, or do another tutorial right now. So, But hopefully this helps you. Hopefully my mic was louder this time. I didn't mess with it. So I hope it was good for you, Guy. But uh, let me know if you have any issues.